Hey there, A Bird Freedom Fam and the Internet Firearms Community. Good morning to you. Um, so, if this thumbnail that you saw gave you the idea that this is a hit piece, just go ahead and stop the video now and leave because that's not what this is all about. That's not what my shop is all about. Yes, I, I do have a firearm shop here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. I do make a little bit of internet content, uh, learning. Don't know much about it, but it's been a hell of a journey. But internet content and creators. So I'm going to talk about one in particular you saw in the thumbnail. And I'm going to give my impression as a small firearm shop owner of Coleon Noir. I have never met Coleon. I would like to. Uh, seems like a pretty cool guy. I like his take on a lot of things. But in particular, I like the way he reviews firearms. Um, I actually do have customers reference his material because of the fact that no matter what firearm he puts in his hands, even if he doesn't like it, he explains to you that he doesn't like it, but yet it may be for you. And I think that's something that's uh, missing from a lot of reviews and people that talk about products is they'll tell you a product is bad, so on and so forth. Not going to go down that road. I do also really appreciate the fact that Coleon can get excited about a new firearm, even though he probably owns many of them. I don't know. That's not for me. But I like the fact that he will give you an honest review. And if it, something is exciting to him, functions well, and performs well, you're going to know it. And I think this is important for a lot of people to actually see. Too many reviews, too often, from too many people with too much time on their hands are too negative. Um, we have the crowd that will tell you, don't buy this pistol because I have one. And I don't like it because my favorite pistol is the XYZ and the ABC is garbage. Well, maybe the guy you're telling the XYZ is the best thing since sliced bread. Actually, the ABC could be better. So I just want to take a moment or a couple of moments this morning to say that I actually do appreciate the effort and the work that Coleon puts into his videos. Um, I have watched some of his, quite a few of his videos, but some of his earlier videos. And I did watch the video on how he kind of got his start. And I like the way that when he goes into a firearms establishment, he's open to information and he's open to different points of view. And the fact that he gives different points of view without shitting on somebody else's point of view. So this morning, I just want to say, Coleon, Mr. Noir, I do appreciate your content and the effort that you put into the fact that your content is good. And it's not just somebody naysaying and beating on a product. I don't do it in my shop. And I do also appreciate the fact that you do give more information to new firearms owners. And with that, I just want to say thank you. And everybody that watched, I just want you to understand that this is not endorsed by Coley on the Wall or anything like that. If you happen to see it, that's great. Um, Coleon, if you have a minute to reach out, I'd like to know what your thoughts are. And I'd also like to pick your brain on some of your thoughts that maybe with your input as a small shop owner, I might be able to implement some things that you've seen when you've gone into some shops, good, bad, indifference, or otherwise. Everybody, don't be afraid to talk to your, your shop owners, your shop salesmen. Go ahead and talk to them. Uh, the more information that's put out there, the more information that we can put out along with yours. This is the reason why I think Coley on the Wars videos are definitely a wealth of information. And with that, everybody stay safe. Treat everybody like Americans. Like I say in a lot of my videos, wave at a stranger, whole hand from the front. And maybe smile, open a door for somebody. You never know. You can make a new friend. Everybody stay safe.